Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're back on Roblox, because I still have a lot of weird fucking games I want to play. You know, it's the usual. There are still a lot of weird games I want to try out, so we're going to get into more of those today. Since uploading my last video, I now have 66 people in my friends list. These are all viewers who submitted friend requests. I'm trying to fill it with all viewers until I reach the limit on how many friends I can have. And then I'm going to do something special. Don't know what. But these are all viewers, so if you want to join my quest to uh, max out the friends list, send a friend request to Toasty is very good. I'm accepting every single one. There's this one guy who I can't accept it from. I don't know what's wrong. Um, I, I'm sorry, Wolfo11. I, I can't accept it because I don't... It won't let me. I tried. So I didn't know this, but apparently you can follow people on Roblox. So I have like six followers. I don't know how you follow people on this game, but if you want to follow me too, sure, why not? Fuck it. I don't know. There's so much about Roblox I still don't understand. It doesn't matter how many videos I've done on it. It's just... It still feels like a foreign land whenever I log on to Roblox, because I still main Minecraft above all else. So I log on to Roblox, and I'm just a stranger in a strange land. Like, I just don't know where the fuck I am. I don't know what's going on, but we're just gonna check it out. Eat drywall. Yep, you heard me. We're, we're eating drywall. <laughs> I imagine this is gonna be a pretty self-explanatory game. I mean, you just kind of eat drywall, right? I mean, as one does. I don't know what else there would be to it. So I don't know what's going on. There's a Cheez-It stand right here. Can I have some Cheez-Its? No? Okay, that's fine. I didn't want any Cheez-Its anyways. Someone stole my toast. Someone stole my hair. Someone stole my- where's my hair? Why am I bald? Half of these games I join, I just join and I'm magically bald. It really pisses me off. Oh, you click it. Okay. We're eating drywall. We got the times two multiplier as well. Okay, I mean, I don't know what I was expecting from this game, but it's pretty much just... Barack Obama, Jesus, I need to leave, I can't even talk. Barack Obama won't stop beatboxing, so I have to get out of here. Jesus Christ. I don't know what I was expecting from this game, but it's literally just eating drywall. There's not much going on here. As it turns out, eating drywall doesn't make good content, so I'm gonna head out now. I'm gonna give that a 3 out of 10. I don't know what I was expecting from a game called Eat Drywall, but it wasn't that great. Shoot and eat noobs. I, I don't even have a joke for this shit. What the fuck? Shoot and eat noobs. That's what it's called. Fuck it. Well, let's see what's going on here. Noob, shoot him. Oh my god, can we eat him now? We have to- Oh my god, I'm eating him. I'm going- I'm going hog wild with it. Oh my god. Dude, why is the noob doing a domain expansion on me? What the fuck is happening? This is way too loud. I gotta turn down the volume. Alright, I hope that isn't too loud. It is actually obliterating my fucking ears. What the fuck is that? Dude, what is happening right now? What is happening right now? What is this? I'm looking for a noob that hasn't already been shot to death. I'm eating this noob because I can. Why am I just headbanging the noob? I'm just doing like- It's like I'm listening to a really good heavy metal song, just banging my head back and forth as I eat it. Dude, I can't even- What is happening? Dude, what the fuck was that? This is one of those games that only the Gen Alpha brain can even comprehend. You know, the Skibbity Riz, Giat, you know, have to be constantly stimulated every five seconds. There's too many stimuli, my brain can't keep up with this. This is not made for anyone who's not Gen Alpha. This is actually, like, unhinged. Dude, I gotta get at- it's too fucking loud. It's actually too fucking loud. If you're Gen Alpha, 10 out of 10. If you're anybody else, 2 out of 10. I just- it's so loud, what the fuck? Get fat and roll race. That thumbnail strikes fear in my heart in a way that no other thumbnail has in a long time. I am very skinny. Oh my god. Homer Simpson. Look at Homer Simpson. Look at the poor guy. So I just have to start eating stuff. Burgers and fries and soda. You gotta appreciate how fast he can down a fucking McDouble. I mean, look at this guy. He's just like, whoop, he's just inhaling them. Alright, if I eat enough of these, I'll be pretty chunky, and then I'll be able to get down that hill fast, I guess. I think probably more you eat, the faster you go, right? Is that a- Oh, I thought you could eat the unicorns for a second. I was like, brother, like, what am I, Voldemort from Harry Potter? I can eat unicorns? <laughs> that shit would have been fucking bonkers. Okay, now I'm looking like I'm ready to roll. Okay, let's just see how fast I can- <laughs> It looks like an overstuffed teddy bear. <laughs> he looks like he's stuck to some medieval torture device. Oh, so you collect calories and then you burn them off. Oh, I see. The fat meter there at like 240 right now. That's how much fat I have. And then that fat one to one goes to trophies, I think. It's so I guess the point of this is just getting fat and then burning it off into trophies. And then how do they turn fat into fucking 
trophies. I don't- how do- is that- what kind of, like, fucking transmutation from Fulmata Alchemist do they have to do to turn human fat into gold that can be turned into trophies? I don't understand that concept. There's a bunch of lore to this I don't really understand, but I guess maybe I'm looking too deep into it. Times two wins? Oh, that's actually hype. That's actually good. You know, the more I eat, the more I look like an actual square, like an actual cube. Okay, I've got 5,000 fat tokens, fat doubloons, whatever the fuck you call them. I felt- I just fell through! Oh. Okay, well now I'm good. I don't know why I fell through the thing, I was so heavy that I just fell through the track. Roll, roll, roll your boat. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, I'm back. 12.6k. Yeah, I'm not feeling this game either. None of them have been winners for me so far. That's a 5 out of 10 just because it could be fun if you're really bored, but like, I'm looking for something different, you know? Okay, finally, after all this hooey, all this dirty barnacles nonsense fish paste that I've been playing in this video so far, we're finally getting to something that has promise, okay? This has potential. My wife left me tycoon. She took the kids. Goat emoji. I don't know what the goat emoji's doing there. Alright, let's go. This- this has gotta be good. Okay, please. I just want a- one good game. One good game this video. Why the fuck do I have to sign an EULA to play this fucking Roblox game? What the fuck? Occasionally badass experiences may require the user to participate in organized crusades, including but not limited to participating in surveys, overthrowing local governments and or municipalities, is that how you say that word? And testing new game features. Oh, it says that by playing this, I have to rate the product, um, 10 out of 10. Free speech is dead, I guess, if I sign this. Badass Experiences reserves the right to take immediate ownership of any dog and or chihuahua within the user's proximity. Good thing I don't have a pet. Laughter generated during gameplay may be collected by Badass Experiences as a form of energy to power the overlords within your physical realm. Please note, excessive laughter may lead to an energy surplus, causing such anomalies as harmonic convergence, an ethereal upheaval, or even an eclipse nexus. Badass Experiences is not responsible for any distortion or fragmentation of any multiverse resulting from use of the software. In the event of an Eclipse Nexus, Badass Experiences will rescind itself from your reality and leave you to your fate. I can't exit out. <laughs> oh, I exited out. I didn't sign that. I can rate this whatever I want. Oh my god, I didn't agree to that. Okay, you can't make me overthrow the local government. I think I have to claim a house, probably. Coffee Drinkers Anonymous. Actually, I'm a coffee drinker, so I'm gonna go check this out. You know, I really don't think I have a problem with my coffee drinking habits. I have a strict regimen of 400 milligrams of caffeine a day. I don't think that's out of hand. Some people tell me, hey, dude, you have a problem. I say, fuck you, I don't have a problem. I drink a reasonable amount of caffeine, okay? And that's what everyone should know about my caffeine habits. But, you know, I'll go to this caffeine fucking coffee drinkers anonymous i'll see what's going on over there just because i'm bored i still have a wife unlike everyone else in this game so i guess i'm chilling um i have a feeling that's not gonna last very long but you know whatever this is a really really long walk to coffee drinkers anonymous oh maybe i was supposed to get a car or some shit i don't know i just kind of hiked it ah nice coffee <gasps> my coffee no my coffee i need more coffee Oh, thank God. I sold my coffee. Oh. No, my coffee! I dropped it again! Oh my God, look how fast it makes you. Hold on. Can I rob them? I'm robbing their cash register. What are you gonna do about it? Oh shit, there's a there's a security camera. I'm gonna leave now. No, dude, when you drink the coffee, it makes you super fast. Like, watch. I don't need a fucking car. I don't need a fucking car. Look at this. I'm still going. I'm good. Oh, damn it. I didn't make it all the way. I think I have to go see my wife, probably, so she can leave me and take the kids. Um, actually, I don't have any kids. Where is my wife? Where is my wife? I don't know. I think she exists, though. Oh, nobody owns this. Let's go. Ha! That's mine now. All right. Oh, we got a nice cutscene with the hopefully royalty-free music. What the fuck? My wife is the computer? Who am I, Plankton from Spongebob? No, my subscription to wife! One million dollars. I have to have a million dollars for my wife to come back. Maybe I don't want a wife. Maybe, maybe I don't need one. Maybe all I need is my two anime body pillows. That's all I need. All right, looks like I'm going insane. So I have to grab a drink from the fridge. We'll drink some Bloxy Cola, cause gotta love that. Start collecting wife stuff. Evacuator 9000. Ooh, looks like my wife's stuff is getting extracted from the closet. Oh, so we have to sell the wife's- we have to sell our wife's stuff. Collect money from the register after items are sold. Oh, I get it. Yeah, it's like your standard tycoon. 
I think this is the first time I've ever been recognized by a viewer in Roblox. Yeah, so we're here with a viewer now, and we're gonna go nuts. Ooh, iPhone. Ah, oh, I can't get the iPhone. My backpack's full. I'm still getting the hang of this. Okay, sell wife stuff. Collect earnings. Go, 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 go. All right, I got the phone. Uh, I don't know how I just got launched in the air. Uh, collect earnings. We're actually kind of popping off, just selling our wife's stuff. Did she get permission for us to be selling her stuff? Like, I feel like th that's kind of a weird concept, right? Okay, let me get this straight. My wife left me, so I'm just selling her stuff and using that money from selling her stuff to be rich enough for her to come back. Is it just me or is that kind of weird? Like, let's just imagine, the hypothetically, in real life, your wife leaves you, right? And she says, I won't come back to you unless you make a million dollars. And you're like, okay, I'm gonna start selling your stuff, and then I'm gonna pay you back with the money I made from selling your stuff. And then she's like, okay, I love you again. Like, what the fuck? Oh, you know what? Since I have cash, I can start actually expediting this process. I imagine that stuff without a price tag is Robux, and I'm not paying Robux for this. My backpack is huge now. Also, I got a common vacuum. Oh, I think the vacuum's supposed to help me, uh, pick up stuff, I guess. Yeah, we're doing pretty good, actually. I'm starting to get the hang of it now. We're, uh, making some bank. It's pretty fun so far, actually. It's a pretty good game. All right, backpack is finally full again. I have to hire more salespeople? What the hell? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna air quotes hire a salesperson. Hey, buddy! Hi! No breaks! No, no meal breaks! You can eat on the job, buddy! Uh, you too! Hi! How are you doing? Remember, 84 hours a day, <laughs> 8 days a week. You've got this sport, you can do it. You know, we're doing pretty good, actually. Like, we're actually doing pretty good. Jewelry. Oh, we're cooking now. We're cooking. Oh, I'm buying a treadmill. I don't know why I need it, but I've got a treadmill now. Yeah, I'm getting the gains, the gains. I've got a puppy dog, too. I've got everything. Well, I need to. I need another salesperson pronto. I need another salesperson. Hey there! I have a furry working for me. Awesome. Awesome. So I got a hell of a workforce here. I've got a... I've got a character from Diablo, like the game franchise. I've got a McDonald's worker. I have an e-girl, like a goth e-girl. I've got a furry. Who's next? I have no clue, but I'm just loving the, the workplace right now. This is a great place to work for sure. You know, selling my wife's stuff without her permission, it's hard work, you know? I'm, I'm really working hard to do this. This is, I feel like a lot of people don't understand, you know, the, the work that goes into selling your wife's items without her permission. It's, it's, it's a real crazy business to be in. So let me get this straight. You can pick up credit cards and then sell them? I don't think it's legal to sell credit cards. I'm just gonna throw that out there. You know, this is actually pretty fun. I'm actually really enjoying this game. Oh my god, I'm actually making four digits now. Like, I'm actually popping off here. I'm pretty sure we're doing some illegal behavior, but as long as the the authorities don't pull up, ain't nobody gotta know. Nobody snitch. Everyone in the comments below, don't snitch. It's a victimless crime. Like, guy's selling credit cards illegally? Like, who, who could possibly be hurt by that? My wife? No. That guy looks like he belongs to the Silver Eagles from Black Clover. He's got the anime hairstyle. We got, we got so many cool different workers here, and none of them are getting paid for this. I mean, they're getting paid for this. I, I don't know who said that. I don't get what this sparkling water does. You know, what's fun about Roblox is that sometimes you can do the most questionable shit, and... It's just kind of a normal thing on this game, such as selling credit cards. And yeah, yeah, it's 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 pretty nice. I mean, I got a puppy dog. I got everything I could possibly need. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. More sales. More sales. We need more sales. Yes. Yes. Keep selling items illegally. Keep selling items illegally. Do it. Selling more stuff. Getting more money. Life is good. Life is great. I love life. iPhone. We got an iPhone. Oh my, we're actually going nuts. How many credit cards does my wife even have? Like, oh my god. Oh, we got another furry, let's go! We got two furries working for us now. Such- such a good workplace. We're just thriving right now, we've got so much going on. It's going great for us as a business. Wait, we're selling secret diaries from our wife. That's even more fucked up than the credit card. We're selling her secret diaries? <laughs> I- it didn't even cross my mind until I really thought about it for a second. I'm like, wait, we're selling her personal diaries for like $500 a piece. Her deepest secrets and confessions were just selling off. Like, what the fuck? Th this game is actually fucked. It's- it's- it's good. It's just really fucked when you think about it. Just don't think about what you're doing and why it's so morally wrong. Just don't think about it, you know? Don't question it. Don't question it at all. all right, I gotta go. I didn't want to leave because I had a bunch of viewers who were being so nice to me. Oh, that was nice. I had viewers in there who were, like, helping me out. That was, <laughs> that was nice. Feeding trash to rich people tycoon. This is actually by the same developers of the last one. So, probably gonna be fun. Okay, so we're starting off by collecting trash. He's doing like a Michael Jackson lean to pick up the trash. I don't know how he does that. He is the 
defying gravity right now. It's actually impressive what he's doing there. Like, that is actually insane. A Walter White wanted a poster like it's One Piece. Walter White has a 5 billion berry bounty on his head. <laughs> There he is again. Oh, one million berries on Walter White's head. Roblox Walter White, to be specific, because there is a difference. So I guess the uh, point of this game is to collect garbage off of the street and feed it to rich people, which people already do in real life all the time. So, I mean, it's not like it's anything uh, unique here. It's not a unique concept, but... <gasps> Gordon Ramsay. Well, you got a, you got a keen tongue, Mr. Ramsay. Eh, I got plenty of time to, you know, turn it around. Oh, I don't because of the time skip. Oh, so I've already collected 30 trash, so we've kind of got a leg up here. That's our table. That's our first customer. Oh, so we're- okay, we gotta prepare the food. Okay. I don't know what we're doing to prepare it other than doing some forbidden jutsu on it, like waving our hands around. There, have some food. Enjoy. Not to be rude, buddy, but you don't need food. You need, like, an oxygen tank, but- here, have this. Made a whole three cents off of that. How did I turn that trash into a watermelon? <laughs> it's Dio from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Out of the so many anime I've seen, I actually haven't seen JoJo. Damn, I'm broke. I can't even afford a 19 cent table. It's just like real life. Okay, I'm kind of getting the hang of this, kind of. The past two games I've played, I've had like viewers randomly show up to help me. I've got like a fucking army. We're gonna be like the BTS army, except not psychopaths. There, I said it. What, you want to attack me, BTS army? Go ahead and try. Go ahead and try. I really shouldn't challenge the BTS army. I'm asking for trouble. Those guys are crazy. I'm only making it worse by roasting them even more. Yeah, pretty soon I'm gonna have to go out and find trash. But it's good because the uh, friends, in air quotes, that I hired will help me out, you know. I love how it says, like, you can hire a friend and then the wage is 32 cents. Like, that shit is abominable. See, so what I love about the badass experiences games that, like, they make for Roblox is how, like, <laughs> when you think about it, they're all really fucked up. But, you know, you just don't think about it. Just don't think about how this may or may not be legal. Look, Dio, I really appreciate your help, but all your customers are so mad. Like, I, I really appreciate you, but you should probably go tend to your customers, too. Oh, shit, he's mad. He's mad. Oh, he's mad. Someone go feed- someone feed that guy quick. Pronto. I'm so bad at this. I'm actually getting- I'm getting destroyed. Hold on. Dude, this is stressful. This is actually stressful. You know, this one's pretty good too. I don't know. This one's- this one's pretty fun. Oh, we can finally afford a third table. You can't even sprint without paying. Every time you press the sprint key, it like tries to charge you 49 Robux. Oh shit, he's mad. He's mad. Someone feed him. Quick. No, someone feed him. Oh, they're both mad. They're both mad. Dude, why am I so slow at cooking all of a sudden? Here, eat. I got mugged. Is the key not to feed them once they're mad? I think that's the key. I got mugged and they took nothing. Maybe they just- they were just like, oh, you're so broke, I'm- I'm sorry. Alright, it's time for me to go. I- I'm out of time. Pretty good game, though. I'd give that- did I rate the last one? I forgot to rate the last one, okay? The one I played before this, give it like, a uh, 8 out of 10. This one gets a 7.5 out of 10. It's pretty fun, too. Well, yeah, that's our video for today. Um, we played some good games. We started off kind of slow, because all of those games were bad. And then I got into some good ones, like some actually pretty fun ones, so that was nice. I'd say the winner for today was My Wife Left Me Tycoon, She's Taken the Kids. That that one was a banger. I would recommend that one. Also, the uh, feeding trash to rich people. Pretty good uh, business decision if you ever wanted to get into that in Roblox or in real life. Overall, I'd say today was a success. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, and keep vibing.